Well, good morning. Welcome to The Breakfast Biscuit. It is Thursday, May the 4th, 2023 at 6.05 a.m. And this morning, we are in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 28, verses 19 through 20, with a breakfast biscuit entitled, Answer the Phone. Answer the Phone. So, while people are tuning in, let me just give you the weather update for today. It's going to be less and less surprising as we move into the dog days of summer. It's 62 degrees right now, which is very, very pleasant. On the way to 85, it is partly cloudy with a chance of rain developing late tonight. So I hope that will help you get your day together. Oh, by the way, uh, this coming Sunday at our home in the Holodome at SeaTex Church, 10 a.m. on Sunday, uh, I will be preaching on the Mountaintop series, uh, Old Testament, Volume 1. And we'll, we will be on Mount Carmel, where Elijah had the showdown with the prophets of Baal and Ashtoreth. And uh, I have to to tell you that there is no more conspicuous example of the disparity between the mindset of God and his true prophets in today's world than a little blurb put out by the Babylon Bee on uh, March 28, 2022. It had an artist's depiction of Elijah confronting the prophets of Baal with the uh, sacrifices already on the altar and God's fire falling uh, on his sacrifice. And the headline was, Elijah criticized by Israel for unloving satire toward the prophets of Baal. Let me read that to you one more time. Elijah criticized by Israel for unloving satire toward the prophets of Baal. Ladies and gentlemen, if Elijah had done what he did then, now, that's what the news headlines would read, and that's what the woke society would say. The uh, never the twain shall meet. That's all you can say. God's truth uh, is God's truth. And <laughs> today's society would call it unloving satire. So on to uh, answer the phone from Matthew 28, 19 through 20. Yesterday morning at the SeaTex Church offices, uh, the phone rang on the landline. Doesn't happen very much. Most of the... Uh, CTEX world is cell phone uh, based and computer based, email based, text based, based. But the uh, landline rang at the uh, at the office, and Miss Joy answered it. It was an unfamiliar area code, unknown name, and uh, she asked if I wanted to take it. I said, "Please take a message." I was quite busy at the time, and so she took a message, and she came back and told me that the message was, "I just really need to talk to him." Well, you know, at the end of the day, uh, when somebody says, I just really need to talk to him, they're probably not selling timeshares in condos. And she said he sounded sincere. So I got convicted about it, called him back, and guess what happened? He said, I used to watch you on the television uh, before that was killed. Uh, and I used to listen to you on the radio before that was killed. Now I watch you on Facebook, and I have just come to the point where I can't, and I'm paraphrasing what he said, I, I've come to the point where I can't say no anymore. I have to repent and place my faith in Christ. And I prayed with him on the phone to receive Christ as his Lord and his Savior and gave him a few uh, suggestions on how to move forward with his new faith. With that being said, uh, two things. Number one, I understand there are a lot of spam phone calls, robocalls, all that. They're aggravating this tarnation, and I don't blame you. I myself screen them rapidly. But when we pray and pray and pray for the Lord to use us to reach people for Christ and build them up once they come, maybe we ought to answer the phone when somebody wants to talk to us. And maybe we ought to have a listening ear and not be in a hurry when somebody begins to talk about the serious things of life. We say we're trying to reach the world by all kinds of means. Maybe we should answer the phone. So let me remind you of what Jesus said. Go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I've commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the age.
We have to be his witnesses and we have to be sensitive to the state of affairs in people's lives when we interact with them. And so I do, I do hope you uh, have an effective screening mechanism for robocalls. But at the same time, when a stranger calls, uh, be careful to listen when they say, I just really need to talk. Let's pray together. Lord, we love you. And we, uh, we live in a, a world that is just pounding us all the time with telecommunications and computer messages and all those things. Father, help us not to grow weary. Help us to be faithful to screen those things, to sort through them. And when people reach out to us, to be careful, uh, to be a listening ear, a loving heart, and a helping hand. Father, I thank you for the gentleman that called yesterday. Thank you for his newfound faith in Christ. I thank you for the way that the Word of God, through television, radio, and even Facebook Live, uh, played a part in his life. And God, we ask you in Jesus' name to bless him this morning, to put a hedge of protection around him, and Lord Jesus, help us to be faithful, to take every opportunity to be a witness for you. Lord, we love you. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So, may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And remember, as always, I love you. I'm praying for you. And I'll see you right back here bright and early tomorrow morning on Friday. Woohoo! God bless you.